So today, um, because Rachel did that um, video the other day where it was like, you know, Dragon Y'all's base routine, um, I figured I'd do like a glass skin tutorial, but all affordable slash drugstore products because, you know, not all of us can fork out money for Natasha Denona Face Glow. So I guess uh, we'll just get into it here. So um, one thing you want to keep in mind is obviously skincare is important. You want to make sure your skin is prepped, hydrated, primed, whatever you want to do. Now let me zoom in real quick. Okay, so for uh, primer, I do not have a lot of drugstore primers anymore because um, we're just kind of working through all of ours. Um, one that I'm going to use today though, this is the e.l.f. Antioxidant Booster Drops. These are just kind of like a serum-y formula, um, and they work well enough. They have a little bit of a, a tackiness to them, and it adds a little bit of a glow underneath foundation, or um, if you mix it with foundation, so there's that that you can use them for as well if you are a foundation mixer. I prefer using like an oil or um, a Vichy Mineral 89 serum, which I will probably use one of those items today. One thing I also like to do is color correct. So <laughs> I don't need a ton of correction under my eyes. Like it's not super dark, but I just find that these steps help so that you don't need as much product. So my favorite is the Becca under eye corrector because this is drugstore. I'm gonna use the Pixi one. There are a couple differences between these. This one is way more hydrating and like kind of emollient and creamy. This one is more of a stiff formula and this color is a little deeper. Uh, not deep by any means, but just deeper than the Becca one, but it does work well enough. I do enjoy it. Um, I'm trying to get some more use out of it as of late. Um, so it's not like a really intense, it's not like red under my eyes because obviously I am white. So if I added red under my eyes, it would just take more to cover that than, than this light salmon color, which just kind of cancels out what you need. So you don't need as much concealer. Um, but I am going to start out with foundation today. Um, I'm going to be mixing my Revlon Candid Foundation with L'Oreal Pro Glow because neither of these are my shade right now. I'm kind of in the middle. Um, so I'm going to kind of mix these two. Um, this is 209 from L'Oreal and this is 120 buff from Revlon. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to mix in a couple drops of the Pixi Rosehip Oil. I do like this to mix with my foundation so I'm going to make that little concoction real quick. All right so here's my little concoction here. I'm just going to put that on my face. And I'm gonna blend that out with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Um, both of these foundations are, like the Revlon one has a little more coverage. L'Oreal is more like a light to medium. Um, you can build it up to like high medium though. I just prefer more of a sheer application. Get a mirror, I can't see anything. So again, I like to see this redness coming through. Um, if I can't see my redness, I'm like, where, where is my skin? It's, it just all kind of looks blocked out and covered. And I don't think it's flattering on me, especially it doesn't wear well throughout the day. Um, I just like sheer coverage application. I mean, you do you, you're wrong, but like you do you. I'm just kidding, do whatever you want. But I just, even on days where I wear more fun glam makeup I'm always doing like a sheer coverage skin look so uh, with that oil in there it gives that like a really nice glow to it um, it's you know it remains tacky because it has an oil in it and it's very glowy and that's that's what I prefer here so and just make sure with sheer foundations especially um, because I am generally very fair um, and I'm way more tan than normal right now. I have to make sure I really get that blended in otherwise there looks like there's um like splotches of white <laughs> so I just have to make sure I get that all blended and good to go. For the Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealer this one is in light um, so this might be a hair light compared to what I normally like to go for with a concealer um, but you know we'll make it work. I can always you know bronze my under eyes. Yeah, it's a little light, but we'll make it work. I don't prefer the highlighted under eye look, um, but I find that I can correct it if I do kind of go overboard with that. And I'm just gonna add a little bit on my nose because I'm, I'm breaking out heavy. <laughs> Concealer, I like to let it sit, especially like more hydrating ones like this. I like to let them sit for a hot minute. So in the meantime, I'm gonna cream bronze. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade 
tan. Um, so this is like a bronzer color on me. If you are, I don't know, if you're looking for a cream uh, bronzer, cream contour sort of situation, you can just get a foundation or a concealer that's a few shades too dark for you. Um, three to four is probably what I'd recommend, and then you can use that. Um, it just, you don't need to buy like a, a dedicated cream contour product. Um, but I like to take some on the back of my hand. This is the e.l.f. I don't know. It's a brush that looks like this. It works well for cream products. So I'm going to take a little bit of that and sort of dab off more on the back of my hand. And then just start to bronze the skin. Um, obviously, if you prefer powders, you, you know, feel free to use those. I just think... Um, I just think creams normally look better on the skin, um, and I'm, I'll normally go over with a powder bronzer as well if I'm really feeling it, but, you know, just kind of depends. It's definitely nap time. Give you guys a little bit of an update, sorry if you can hear my daughter screaming, um, but we are on a no-buy currently, so we are on a no-buy until Christmas is kind of the deal here. Um, we might buy some things before Christmas just to get them for Christmas, obviously, but um, everything we buy will have to be a gift if it's makeup related. So that is kind of where we're at. We just want to make sure we're using things up. We have used up two bronzers this year, so that's exciting. And I should probably blend out this concealer before it dries, right? I got my septum pierced. If you can see that um, it's really small it's really faint but that's kind of what I was looking for I didn't want anything super intense just cuz I don't know not what I was going for but I really like the tiny one um, and then I just kind of go over the entire area uh, there's some obviously excess concealer in my sponge and it kind of just helps to mesh things together a little better And another thing I do, especially when my concealer is a little too light, is I use the side of the sponge that I use foundation with, um, just so those colors will mesh together a little better, and it's not such like a, a harsh white color under the eyes. Um, obviously there's still a little highlight action going, but I don't mind a little bit of that, it's just when there's an overabundance of it, I have some problems. So I'm just going to re-go over everything with my bronzer blush. I didn't want to go overboard on this because I probably will go over top of this with a powder bronzer as well. But, you know, you get the gist. It's a nice, healthy, glowy skin thing. Okay, and I'm going to highlight first. This just kind of helps for everything to mesh together if you highlight and then put blush on top. Um, so then it's not just like such a stripe. Um, I like to do a highlight that's pretty similar to my skin tone. You can pretty much work anything as well, as long as you really like buff it, work it into the skin. Um, but I don't want to do anything too icy. This is the Makeup Revolution um, Highlight Quad. I think it's called Incandescent. I don't remember. It has no label on it. It's just all shiny. Um, and I'm going to take the gold shade in here. I'm going to mix it a little bit with all... I'm going to mix these three, honestly. And then I'm just going to work this on top of the cheeks and I really want to buff it so any like so it really you know works into the skin rather than having that stripe um, I want to buff that as much as possible here and I like a more intense highlight Rachel does not um, but you know you do whatever you prefer obviously this is all just you know what I do so you can take my opinion with a grain of salt but you're watching so like actually don't Oh, and the brush I'm highlighting it with, this is the, uh, this is an eyeshadow brush from Morphe. This is the JH30. It's just a big fluffy brush for the eyes. I don't tend to use this on the eyes anymore. I used to love it for that, but, uh, not so much these days. I like something a little smaller. I do that, like, reverse blending technique rather than start out with, like, this big old transition shade and kind of go for it. Okay, like, the more metallic the chin, in my opinion, the better. <laughs> Not for everybody, but you know. Cupid's bow. And the nose. I don't trust anyone that says they don't like a good nose highlight, okay? If you don't like a Tin Man nose, 
your opinion is wrong and also completely invalid. So sorry about that, but and then I like to do it above my brows as well. And then I am going to re-pounce over everything with my sponge. And then as like a bronzer topper, one of my favorite things in the world is the Milani Baked Bronzer in Dolce. Um, this is the best bronzer ever to just top everything with. It just makes everything perfect. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that right quick before we before we add some blush. But it just really warms everything up super nice and like I don't know I don't know it just like makes me airbrushed and glowy and. I can't think of anything I love more than that, so. I'm gonna kinda go over the nose with that so we don't neglect her at all. I'm gonna use one of my favorite blush palettes ever. This is the Profusion Blush and Glow One. This is actually a highlight palette, but these two as a blush just, nothing better in my opinion. It's super glowy, super, it's perfect, I love it. So I'm gonna kinda just mix the two shades here and. Kind of go with that, and then same technique. I'm gonna buff it, and because this um, this is technically like a highlighter on deeper skin tones, um, it's going to emphasize texture if you have that on the cheeks. I don't mind that honestly because it's just so glowy, and I like to take that over the nose as well. But it's just, God, do you see that? It's so beautiful. I kind of went overboard though. So I'm gonna repounce. Look, is that not? Is that not glass skin, my folks? This is five dollars. Five dollars. Profusion knows what they're freaking doing. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna just finish up my uh, my eyes, my brows, my lips, the whole shebang, and then I will um, I will be back for you all, and I will show you the uh, the completed look with my my perfect glowy skin. Okay, well, one second. Alrighty, and here we are. This is the completed face of makeup all done. Um, I have not set my face with setting spray yet. Feel free to do that. Um, actually, I will just do that. I have the uh, Glow Revolution Prime Set and Glow. This spritzer randomly started working again. I don't particularly love or hate this spray, but it is glowy because it's got like shimmer in it. So I'll just add a little bit of this here, assuming it works still. It worked yesterday. <laughs> that okay I'm gonna use the Gerard Cosmetics hydrating facial mist um, this stuff is insanely good for a finishing spray the spritzer though is like really intense so I do this and I let it fall down here we go gotta fan her dry pounds her out with a sponge but yeah this is everything completed um, on my eyes, I have the um, ABH and Jackie Ina palette. On my lips, this is Dose of Colors No Shade from Desi and Katie collab with the Milani Plumping Gloss in Nude Shimmer. So obviously not everything is drugstore, but all the base products are, so you can't drag me for that. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe before you go, because what's the point in tuning in if you're not going to help us out here and uh yeah you can follow us on our instagram at twin tutorials and on twitter at uh rachel and victo one i think i'll just link everything down below and uh yeah hope to see you in the next video bye